I'm going to demonstrate the patient positioning for the barium enema. Now I'm going to do a, a typical protocol for the air contrast BE. Once the doctor has left the table, usually you have the patient turn over to the stomach, back to the back, and have them turn a couple of times just to get the air and the barium mixed well, encoding the, the walls of the colon. Now when you do this, it usually works better if you just bring the, the bag down, double check that it is clamped off, and this will help turn the patient so that the tubes are not going to get all tangled, and you, you've got to help keep the patient covered because the gown typically does not want to stay closed. So after you've done that, well, our first image will be the AP. So center at the crest and check that you are mid-sagittal. And we'll use the 14 by 17 image receptor and then use your marker. I've got my right marker on the cassette. So this is our AP. The next will be the AP oblique which I'll be doing the RPO next. Your patient will be at an angle of 45 to 45 degrees. So I'm going to use a positioning sponge to help my patient stay in at the proper angle. Now, a lot of patients can just hold this angle. So if that's the case, you will not need to use the sponge. But find the crest. Here's the midline, so your longitudinal line will be one to two inches on the upside of that. So next will be the LPO. So because it's the left oblique, I'm going to use the left marker, place it to the other side of the set, and this is indicating the left side of the body. So I'm going to have the patient turn 35 to 45 degrees to the left. Okay. Find the crest. It's your transverse line. Longitudinal line will be one to two inches on the upside or out laterally. Okay, so I've come up and this is where our longitudinal line is. So this is the LPO. I'm going to do the AP axial for the recto signaling. Now, if your patient can turn prone, then you do a 30 to 40 degree angle caudal. But I'm going to do the phallic angle since my patient's in the AP. It will be supine. So our central ray, we want to have this mid-sagittal. Okay, and then our transverse line will be at the level of, find the crest, then the ASIS, and then you'll be two inches below that. Okay, so I have this transverse line two inches below the ASIS. That, that is our AP axial for the rectal sigmoid. Okay, next I'm going to do the right and left cupid. You do this because we do have air and barium, so we will demonstrate an air fluid level and then be demonstrating the walls of the colon on each side. So we'll have our horizontal x-ray beam. I have the patient. I'm going to do my left lateral first. So I'm going to turn my patient to the left side. I'm going to place some positioning sponges underneath the patient so that it will build that side up away from the table. And you want to use a grid cassette.
patient bring the arms up. So we're going to center right at the crest. Okay. Make sure that your grid is straight up and down. We don't want to get grid cut off from this. Okay, and then just center at the mid sagittal with your longitudinal line. Okay, and then our transverse line is at the crest. Right, although this is our left lateral, I'm going to mark the side that's up. Okay, so I put use the right marker, but this is actually the left lateral decubitus. All right, for the next image, I'll do the right lateral decubitus. So we'll change positions with the patient. patient roll to the right side. We'll ensure that we're not cutting off the downside. Okay. okay. So place the grid cassette behind the back, behind the crest. Okay, and then we're going to center our light. So this will be at the crest, and then this will be mid sagittal. So we'll have the arms up out of the way, okay? So this is our right lateral decubitus. Now, since the left side is up, we would place our left marker right here. Okay. Now, some radiologists like to have the decubitus of the rectum. And if, if your doctor prefers that, then you will have the patient turn prone get a 10 by 12 image receptor and then shoot just right through the area at the level of the ASIS and this will get the rectal area. 